Hi and welcome to the quantum tutorial. In this video I want to talk about the particle oscillator model. But before we do this I want to show you just a little trick. When you have the parameters on the display you can almost always click on the part below for access to other um, functionalities. For instance you can choose how fast the encoder will move but you can also do by clicking on the encoder. You can reset the parameter to the default value of the quantum and you can reset the parameter to the patch. Furthermore, you have access to the MIDI learn procedure and you can also check which modulation sources do modulate the parameter which you choose. And a similar um, menu is available also for the parameters here below. Okay, but now let's talk about the particle oscillator, which is a little bit difficult because um, the particle mode um, contains two different, very complex um, types of um, sampling oscillators. First, let's load a new initial patch. And then we can select the particle mode by pressing on this uh, key or by selecting the particle mode here. The standard mode is the normal sample player. So you can choose, for instance, a sample from your internal storage or from USB stick or SD card. You can also select one single wave file or you can select a complete folder. You can pre-listen the samples by pressing on the play button. When you select a folder and when you hit add, then it adds all the samples into the sample map. The sample map contains all the samples which are available on your keyboard and for each sample you can define a key range for creating multi-samples and you can also select the velocity range for different um, samples in different velocities. So for instance, you can record a piano with different notes and every note with different velocity and you can create um, multi-samples where one single key has different samples for um, different velocity values and you have different samples for different key ranges. So you can define the availability of every sample by configuring the velocity range and the note range. You can also define the initial pitch. You can scroll through the samples with your finger and selecting one or with the center knob. And you can see every, every sample here in the preview. And now we have different um, ways how to play the samples because um, you can also define uh, multiple samples for the same velocity range and the same key range, just like here. As you can see, all the samples are available on the complete keyboard and in the complete velocity range. And now the quantum has to decide which sample to play. So you can select a round robin, which means that on every keystroke the next sample will be played, or reverse robin, which means they will be played in the backward order from down to up, ping pong, up and down, random and random robin. You can also delete um, single samples or clear the complete map. You can also load and save the complete map. You can also auto map by loading multiple presets and um, mapping them automatically to the key and velocity range. And just like every other option in the quantum, 
the particle oscillators also have um, presets which you can um, store, import, export, and so on. Okay, so now let's clear the map. It has a warning, of course, because we have no sample in there, we hear nothing. But now I want to go to the next um, type of sample player, which is hidden behind the word particle. Um, it's the granular sampler. So you can choose the granular mode here, or by clicking on the particle button, it asks you um, if you want to switch from the normal sample player to the granular mode. And now, as you can see here, it's in granular mode. And you can also um, use the audio input um, as a audio source for the granular player. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the normal mode to show you which sample I want to load. It's this one. Das große Metalltor fraß unersättlich Menschen. Das große Metalltor fraß unersättlich Menschen. And now we are going to have a lot of fun with the granular sampler. <lacht> Granular means that um, always just a little part of the sample will be played, but not just once, but many times. So you have a lot of mini sample players when you hit one key. What you can see on the display is every mini sample player here and different colors for left and right. So when we switch it to um, avoid the analog filters, we can also hear a stereo effect. You can see the player positions with the red line. You can also make the position to be sometimes um, before the reel or after the reel position with the jitter parameter. <laughs> and you can also travel through the sample. <laughs> You can change the length of um, every single sample which is played. And with the parameters below, you can change the attack and decay of every single um, sample player. And you can even increase or decrease the number of little sample players. Mit 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 m
And you can choose between different um, traveling modes. Continuous, ping pong, which is back and forward within the sample. One shot, so it does not repeat the sample. And global, again, synchronized over all um, keyboard keys. So I think it's amazing how many fun you can have with just one single oscillator and this granular mode. In the next video I want to talk about the resonator oscillator mode which can also um, use samples as a basis. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.